Well, hello, hello, hello. I have made something fun that rolls around. Made it with paper. I can play with it, hold it, and it's super cool. And I bet you're wondering what this is. I'll tell you. It's called an icosahedron. It is a geometric form that has 20 sides. It took a long time to make this, but I'm gonna give you the short version today. This icosahedron has 20 sides. And you can see right here in this pink section, you have one, two, three, four, and five. And then on the reverse end, there are five more. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 10. And then if we start counting from here and go around, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. We have 20 sides here. Um, these are really fun to make. I have made them on a larger scale with paper plates. They're really soft, um, flimsy ones that have been painted or colored in different ways. I have made icosahedrons lots of times and I'm gonna show you how to make one today. So the word of the day is icosahedron. In geometry, a polyhedron is a three-dimensional form with flat polygonal faces. The faces on these icosahedrons are triangles. Um, they have straight edges and sharp corners or vertices. Sorta, on this one, we have these curved edges. And the reason why is because I made this icosahedron with circles. So I cut out circles of four different colors. So I have five, 10, 15, and 20. So when I count by fives, five, 10, 15, 20. There's five of each color. Okay, but we have to transform these circles into triangles in order to make this icosahedron. So I have some here that I've been working on. And they're really, for me, at home, there's no exact science to it, except just to go for it. We're going to fold one edge inward, and then overlapping that one just a little ways, overlap again and fold another side in. And then the last one should be pretty easy. And the cool part about this is when you're done folding it, you'll end up with a tiny triangle shape in the middle. It looks dark, you can see it in there. It's a little tiny triangle, just to remind you. Triangle, so I have five of those. Okay, I have one yellow one that's odd man out. I have started gluing this together because it takes a while and I don't want this video to be too long. I like making things and geometry is fun. These geometrical shapes. So isn't that cool that you can take a circle and pretty much turn it into a triangle just by the way you fold it. You remember you're looking for that little triangle in the middle when you're done. Okay, so this yellow one is part of this chain. And I started with all the green triangles facing the same direction and all the yellow ones facing the same direction and it's a pattern it's just a simple a b pattern i love math and art it makes sense and it makes beautiful things i just add a little bit of glue and i can glue that together looks like a snake or a caterpillar so i'm going to set this to the side also, I've taken the five red ones and I glued them together. Um, 
it looks sort of like a hexagon that's missing a part right here but really we're going for a pentagon shape so I add a little glue there and when I connect it um, it creates a curve you can see on the inside that it's curved I guess you could glue this together in the reverse so that these curved edges weren't showing but I think it makes it more artful just more beautiful more pleasing to look at with all of that so there we go that those five have been glued together for the top and remember we're making a icosahedron it has how many sides 20 so we have um, 10 here and we have five here, that's 15. So now it's time to do the last five. And I'm gonna open these up to make some a little bit easier to glue. Just And if you just add a tiny bit of glue and give it a squeeze, they will stay together. And I'm putting them around in this in this way so it looks like a hexagon that has one side missing but actually what we're going for is a what pentagon so there's one missing like this would be a hexagon it would have six sides but one is missing that's okay I'm gonna give this just a couple more seconds my advice is to use just a tiny bit of glue. A, a lot of glue is not necessary. A tiny bit will hold it good. If you put a lot of glue, it takes longer to dry. So I just squeeze that between my fingers and voila. And so we have the top and bottom there. So now we'll take these guys. Isn't that cool looking? and we'll wrap them around and connect and glue that together. This will be the middle section. Once I've glued that together, it's a no-brainer of how to connect the top. Just match it up. All of these little surfaces will match with these curved surfaces here. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue to all five of them all five of the green ones will get a little bit of glue and then I match it up and connect and pinch and hold go around pinch and hold and as I'm holding this I'm starting to see my icosahedron take shape so I hold good you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side so let me get these ready when you're talking about a polyhedrons some that we're familiar with are the cube and the pyramid um, the cube has four sides that are all the same the pyramid doesn't um, the bottom is different than the sides. The sides have a triangular shape and the bottom is usually a square. But they are also examples of polyhedrons. Okay, that's had a second to dry. I'm going to flip it over. Doesn't that look cool when you look down inside there? Add a little bit of glue on the edges of the yellow. So now when I match with the red and hold, and I'm just going to pinch and hold for a while. This is the end of the um, gluing session. It's going to be fantastic when it's done. And the paper that I used is more of a cardstock. It's a little bit thicker, but this can be done with notebook paper. It could be done with pages from magazines. I could do, be done with junk mail. Um, all the circles I cut out were the same size. I used my handy dandy 
fruit cup to trace my circles. I've been using that fruit cup for a lot of projects lately. And when you hold on to it and trace them and cut them out neatly and the circles are pretty much uniform, you get delightful results when you just take your time and cut them out neatly. So now that I've glued that together, it's just wonderful. It's just beautiful. And remember this little beauty is called an icosahedron. It has 20 sides. Here's the one from that I made earlier that's nice and dry. And now I have a pair of these beauties that can hang out on my desk and roll around and toss around when I feel like it. It's been fun making things with you today. And remember, creativity isn't canceled. Art makes you smart. And always come back with me and create more cool stuff.